Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you are doing very well. So we're going to build a web application from scratch. I call this application Movies Hunter using Vue.js. We have a lot to learn uh, to experience it through the series. And as we can see, this is a demo for the final version of the apps. And we have menu, movies, actor profile. We have profile icon, I click on it here. And we have pop up menu. We have search, if I type, for example, D, not going to do anything, at least three character, then show all the result. If I go down, I will see another nice 3D representation for the movie. If I go, for example, I click on any movie, I click on this movie, I will see details about the movie, the actors, and some images of the movie as well. If I go up, we have as well so all of this is from back end fetch from the back end if i click favor you will see the icon change now if i go to for example to profile i will see all the movie that has been favored all right so we have a lot to cover in this series so let's go ahead in the, this first lesson and install uh, what we need exactly so the structure for the project so i will jump to the uh, visual code and I will create a new project here so first of all let's grab this here let's make resize the window okay and let's make like this okay cool so as we can see here so last one yep like this I will keep this as a reference why we are working in the project so i am i will create a new project create i will call this movies hunter the tutorial if you don't have so this done through the cli so if you don't have the cli please go ahead and install the cli i will uh, provide link in the description okay i will close this okay so i will click okay and wait for the uh, the installation it will show some option all right so the first option we will go to use a view tool and pe people as island so you don't need to care about this this done behind the scene as link just for the error check and people translate to modern uh, javascript that the browser can uh, or to all javascript that the browser can understand all right i will click okay and i will come back when the installation is completed all right so the installation has been completed so i will go inside or let's go to open the folder using visual studio so i will go here uh, i will open this and i will close so this the project it has been created for us so i will run the application using npm run serve and the application will have a new board let's wait a second so it combined all the models inside node models all right cool so i will take this copy and paste and we have a new project now all right so we will clean all of this in the moment but let's go ahead and install axios library so i will be, uh, leave the uh, link in the description so i will go here and make another terminal I click based in the terminal and this will install the lab uh, this axis for us basically what this library does is to communicate with the back end uh, and this is the best library I can find and it's very fast and as well we were going to uh, use this to fetch movies actors all so all right so we have it here very cool so I will uh, now go ahead and install the another library which is router view as from the name is suggested the router view is to control all the view in our application so I will go ahead and install this as well make this bigger all right so i will 
come back when the installation is completed. All right, cool. So the installation is completed. So let's uh, go ahead and import this very quickly. So using this, so I will go to the SRC, go to the main, and let's first of all import view router from view router okay and let's go ahead and tell if you to use this using oh we can copy and paste this okay cool so we have tell you to use it okay let's set up some routes we can put all the routes here but i prefer to make a new uh, file for it so i will click new file Alright, so I will install all the um, routes in this folder. So first of all, let's import the um, uh, view router. So view router from view router. Okay. And so let's create our router now. So create view what we have. Okay. And this, let's make first of all the routes. And this, of course, array, array of object. Okay, so the first route we have the path. We don't have the index, so let's define the index first one. The second, we're going to give it a name, which we call it home. The third, what is the component? So the component is for now it's hello world okay so let's rename or let's delete this okay and after deleted okay, I believe the all right so really cool so we will go to app and delete this line delete clean clean all of these let's delete this this as well so let's clean the style. We don't need the style. All right, cool. So let's see. Okay, so let's fix the first error. So let's create a new component. I will call this home. Okay, and this we call it view. Scaffold very quickly. Div home. All right, cool. So let's import this here. Import home from so what is it in the component so in the current folder component home and that's the, the, the first component will be home all right cool cool all right so let's go ahead now and export this route router export default why we use export because we're going to use it in other files all right so i believe this the first route we have the home so let's go ahead to the main js and import import what we want to import is the routes from we are in the current directory we need this one okay very cool so let's now go ahead and tell the view to use it router routes view and okay everything is okay so we have here and we have all right cool so let's now go to the home and or the apps and use the router view here so what we're going to do is router view we can keep it like this but i prefer to do it this way all right cool so home so we are here and so we are in the home page if I go to the routes, it's clearly that we have in the home, show this home. So this is the first route. We can get rid of this hash. Okay, very simple by using history like this. And this should be gone. All right, so this is just for the browser. Uh, and let's go ahead now and uh, see what we're going to do. So let's... Uh, first of all, as we can see, this all the styles 
we can use bootstrap i will use toolend this one all right so let's uninstall i will grab this go to the website the link will be in the description all right so cool as we can see here this will take a little bit and we will come back when the installation is completed all right cool the installation is completed so we don't have any error like this so we go down down and blah 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 add to auto prefixer and blah 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 tell us to create this we don't have this so let's create this file touch if you are on windows just create it manually all right and let's copy and paste where is it here all right cool so we have it now here so this uh, we add this and let's initialize the tailwind using this command and this will have this for us yep so we have this this later on and then next if you listen we're going to learn how to use the plugins uh, how to customize the css all right so we need to integrate these in the file so we don't have so let's create a css file i call it css sorry folder not file create folder called css and let's call this style css and let's copy and paste this all right so let's go down we don't use on board so in the app js we have to tell this to tell them to use this because we didn't have any import uh, so let's go to the app js we have main js here it's over into app and let's go ahead let's make this and what we have here assists so in the root folder assist css dash styles all right so very cool now all right so let's rerun after we install uh, the the css library i will run again and let's wait a little bit and see what we have so we are here and wait a little bit all right we have an error uh, blah 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 plugin this error mentioned in the documentation where is it yep it's one yeah this one exactly we have the same error so we have to go and do this it's very easy stuff so it's not where is it so if you have you know in this case you should install all right so let's go ahead and do this just the version we have to install specifically the uh, the version uh, we will install the auto prefixer the first one uh, the, what we have eight and then install the seven so this maybe will take a little bit i will or let's wait for it all right cool so this remove the current auto prefixer so let's install number seven which was this one okay uh what was was this is done just to uh, in the old before years and years we used to in the CSS, for example put the uh, color red or any custom CSS. some browser doesn't understand so we have to do more than one css but post CSS handle this for us all right so cool so let's now try and rerun again the server again and let's close this and see what we have so this we didn't go inside the application yet so all what we have done is just set up our project uh, first put our foot in the bat so let's wait this to compile and bingo all right so everything is perfect so let's check if the library installed successfully i will close this i will go to home and i will make pg gray 900 okay so i will click save all right cool so it's it's, it's work so this is the uh, background so let's make it 500 
all right cool so this uh, ensure that the library has been installed successfully all right so in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and build the header which contain the logo and this uh, menu as well and see you in the next video thanks guys bye